Greetings everyone. Manupatra brings to you the news highlights of 3rd March 2023. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has observed that it would be desirable if high courts maintain a hands-off approach and not quash an FIR pertaining to corruption cases, especially at stage of investigation, even though certain elements of strong-arm tactics of ruling dispensation might be discernible. The court while upholding Bombay High Court's decision to quash provisions of Consumer Protection Rules 2020 prescribing eligibility for consumer commission appointments has held that persons having bachelor's degree and experience of at least 10 years should be eligible for appointment. News highlights from the high courts starting with the Delhi High Court. The Delhi High Court while considering nature of orders passed by tribunal especially those by which moratorium is declared and IRPs are appointed has directed the national company law tribunal to upload its orders in an expeditious manner without delay the high court has held that denial of admission by school under ews/dg category even after allotment of school by directorate of education frustrates the objective of rte act 2009 and also violates the fundamental right of children as enshrined under article 21a of the constitution The High Court while observing that various orders for enforcement of possession and recovery which are to be given effect by the concerned SDM are not dealt with expeditiously has directed state to prepare SOP for all SDMs on how to give effects to judicial orders of eviction and recovery. News highlights from the Kerala High Court. The Kerala High Court has held that if ocular evidence and identification of accused by witnesses in court are impressive Nothing restricts the court from relying upon said identification as even in absence of test identification parade recognizing accused in court is substantive evidence the high court while observing that when a citizen is engaged by the government to carry out activities it has the duty to reward the person as per the contract even without asking for it has held that the state cannot avoid its obligation to compensate for the dues owed by invoking ground of limitation News highlights from other high courts in the country. The Bombay High Court while observing that newborn baby would include a premature baby and insurer would be liable to pay for all expenses related to infant care has directed insurer to pay rupees 11 lakhs along with interest for medical expenses incurred by the mother after the birth of a premature twins. The Karnataka High Court while observing that as per section 33 of POCSO Act victim shall not be called frequently for cross examination by the court has held that it does not mean that there shall not be any opportunity given to the accused for the purpose of cross examination of the prosecution witness UP court Hathras has sentenced Sandeep Sisodia to life imprisonment for gang rape and murder case concerning a 19 year old Dalit girl The accused was convicted for offences of culpable homicide not amounting to murder under section 304 of IPC and for offences under SCST Act. This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.